Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back to RT Share T, the respiratory therapist live out loud. With me, your host, Linda Fry, the asthma lady. Yes. Well, guys, today we have breaking news. I mean, I was trying to record like I usually do um, the podcast, but this wildfire situation in Canada and it spreading all the way to us here in New York and New Jersey is driving me and everybody else pretty much crazy. Like the sky is yellow. I've never seen it that color before. Um, I don't watch the news. Uh, for those of you that watch me often, I tell you I'm not somebody that usually watches the news because I have so many other anxieties going on. I don't need that stuff. But um, yeah, I was, my office is in the attic and I'm getting headaches and it smells like people are barbecuing. And, you know, since last night, and just didn't know how bad the situation really, really was until like the middle of the day. And luckily for me today, I'm home. Um, so, you know, I had to drop the baby off and I decided, let me just put on an N95 because my airway, you know, I have asthma and I was already triggered the other day. You know, I had to use my pump because um, you know, I was laughing really hard, <laughs> so I had to use it then. So my airways was already like sensitive. So I'm like, okay, let me just throw on the N95 because I don't want more problems. But for for those of you that have respiratory problems like asthma, you if you can avoid being outside today, avoid. Don't be outside. Today is not the day to be exercising outside window shopping or anything like that um i'm in my in my screen my indoor my screen porch and i just closed all the windows and i turned on all the air air purifiers i have like four of them in the house so i turned on all the air purifiers shut off i mean closed my windows and i'm just staying indoors pretty much today tomorrow and I'm due to go back to work, um, you know, in the next couple of days. But uh, I'm, I'm going to hold out. I'm just not going to be outside uh, too much. Uh, try to check the indoor, the outdoor air quality before you go outside. If you have to go outside and wear a good quality mask for those of you that got breathing problems, because um, this ain't no joke. I've never seen anything like this. I've. I've never experienced being near a wildfire, so I don't know what that looks like. And this is what it looks like. The sky is the sky is not the usual color. I'm like, is it gonna rain or why does it look like this? And it just, like I said, it just smells like people barbecuing all at the same time. I, I don't know, but it's a, it's just a weird vibe outside. So. Please be careful. Don't do anything strenuous and get home. You know, that's my best tips um, for today. And for those of you that have a really bad asthma, make sure the rescue inhaler is with you. I mean, you know, bring it along with you. The same thing for tomorrow. If you have to go to work or if you have to be out and about, make sure the inhaler, the rescue inhaler is with you. Make sure you have a good mask. And if you're at home and you have those air purifiers, turn them on okay guys so yeah if you learned anything from me today <laughs> those are my tips for dealing with how to stay safe you know if you have breathing problems during a wildfire all right guys well i mean i'll see you guys next week remember we are here every wednesday on most google platforms and we are on youtube every thursday all right guys so remember to invest in yourself and to only compete with yesterday's version of you see you next week bye and stay safe